So what we're going to be taking a look at is, of course, some of the leaks regarding a GPT 4.5, and a lot of the information that you're about to see is most certainly going to surprise you, because a lot of the information that is regarding GPT 4.5 was simply buried, and I'm here to bring some of that to light, because it is rather fascinating with as to what Get5 could potentially be so, if you don't know some people on Twitter have been predicting earlier this year, well, not earlier this year, around May, bet two weeks ago, go that GPT 4.5 would be coming in December. You can see that this is a tweet from Jimmy Apples. If you don't know why I'm referring to someone who is on Twitter as Jimmy Apples, this is someone who has predicted the AI release of many large language models very, very accurately previously. He did manage to predict the release date of GPT-4 with 100% accuracy. And it was only after the model was released that people realized he tweeted about it. And then, of course, people started following this account. So he's tweeted here, I'm more excited on some open source models coming out soon, but keep an eye out for a potential end of December GPT-4.5 drop and a new multimodal from Anthropics. So this is essentially giving us some information regarding GPT-4.5. And he was not only one of the people that did this, there was also someone else that also tweeted about GPT-4.5 this year around two weeks ago. And essentially he also did tweet this. So I'm going to show you guys this tweet here. He said, that's what are you waiting for? Are you going to take the mitts off yet and release what you are sitting on or keep drip freeding? So essentially, this is in response to the fact that Google actually last week released Gemini and Gemini 1.0 was absolutely incredible. It did take the industry by storm and it has everyone talking about Google and I again. So he's basically saying here is open AI going to let Google take the lead or are they going to sit on what they're releasing? And essentially what we have here is a very interesting situation because Jimmy Apples, and I wasn't able to find the tweet, but someone else also who also actually predicted the Google Gemini release date on exact dates weren't also confused. They actually said the same thing that Jimmy Apples was saying in the fact that GPT 4.5 would be released today. And it might be released maybe while I'm making this video, maybe even just after I've uploaded this video. But I guess we're going to see because what actually happened today was rather, rather interesting. What you're currently looking at is apparently an open AI employee league. So essentially, according to some sources, and those sources are very, very unknown to say the least, this is going to be GPT 4.5. And you definitely want to share this around to kind of verify because not many people are really talking about this. So you can see here that it says GPT 4.5, our most advanced model, brings multimodal capabilities across language audio, vision, video, and 3D alongside complex reasoning and cross modal understanding. Learn more about GPT 4.5. So, this, if it is true, is going to be absolutely incredible because this would be a large leap from GPT 4 to GPT 4.5. 4.5 now. There are some reasons with as to why I do believe that this is true. And although that this is speculation, I'm going to show you guys some points that actually show you guys why this could be actually true. So some of the things that you need to pay attention to here is of course language audio vision and video and 3D now. I have seen some rumors about that, but of course, I'm going to show you guys about those rumors in a moment. So remember the fact that this is a multimodal model which has audio vision video and 3D alongside complex reasoning and cross-modal understanding. So you can see right here their GPT 4.5, GPT 4.5 60 fork, and GPT 4.5 audio and speech. And then of course we have the inputs and the outputs. Now of course, like I said, this could be completely fabricated. We don't know where this has come from. It's been circulating on Reddit. But like I said, we will also see within the next couple of days or even today, if this is actually true now, I'm about to show you some screen as to why I do think that there is some credence to this screenshot potentially being true, just some, not a lot, but just some in case you guys were wondering. So this is the person who previously did tweet about Google Gemini. So he tweeted the content of the screenshot seems to be largely correct, but none of my sources can currently verify whether it is a genuine draft. So this is the person who tweeted correctly about Google Gemini's deity. So that's why I'm bringing this tweet up because this is someone who clearly I'm not sure how I'm not sure where from, but does have some insider information on AI models being released to the public now. Essentially, this person also did state that I don't know what to make of it. It could be a fake.
but I'm not sure no one I know has heard of this draft, which of course means nothing but be careful lest you fall victim to a quick endorphin rush, and yes I know some of you are using my account in the same way. So essentially what he's talking about here race, the fact that although this could be true don't just quickly assume that it is true just because it's circulating, because these rumors have been circulating quite a bit, but as you watch this video you'll start to see why this rumor does seem more and more likely so remember the screenshot about language audio vision and 3D across complex model and understanding so the reason that the screenshot does gain some credence is because if I do look at some of the stuff that I was just looking at when it was just looking into a lot of AI news, and this was some of the stuff that I didn't cover in other videos because I just thought that the speculation was just way too farfetched. But this is an article from The Information Now if you remember The Information was the place that got the first drop on many of the things that were going on in OpenAI. And, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's when OpenAI collapsed and then reforged again. So this actually talks about OpenAI dropped work on a new model called Eris and Air model in a rare setback. So essentially, it says late last year around the time that ChatGPT became a global sensation, the engineers at OpenAI began working on a new AI model code named Eris. Although OpenAI was preparing to boost ChatGPT with a different model now known as GPT-4 which it had completed earlier in the year, the upcoming Aras model would allow to run the company chat bot less expensively success, with Eris would also help of AI show Microsoft how fast it could create successive loans, which would be valuable as the two firms finish negotiating a $10 billion investment and product deal. But by the end of the middle of 2023, OpenAI had scrapped the Aras model launch after the model didn't run as effective L as the company expected. Now remember this is just discussing a racket, but there's also some other information that we did talk about. There was some rumors that there was a model called GOI OK. And I've only ever heard about this model through Jimmy Apples, because that was the only person I ever saw a tweet about it. We have to remember Jimmy Apples was the person that predicted many other different things from Opina. And I'm going to show you why they're so crazy. So there was this article, right? And this article essentially talks about opening eyes GOI. So it says apparently two users claim they have access to two of open eyes internal models called GOI and Erichis, and they go way beyond of what anyone ever dreamed this, summed with some cryptic tweets of opening eye personnel, got the rumor real running it then shows us a tweet from Jimmy Apples, where he says AGI has been achieved internally. We did a video on this. Then of course you can see Sam Alman saying sure 10x engineers are cool but them those. 10,000 X engineer researchers and I'm pretty sure a 10,000 X engineer researcher is going to be some kind of AGI model that can do research for you at lightning quick space or completely automated now remember okay Jimmy Apples did talk about GOI and he did talk about Rekas and of course we do know that the information source the same place that got really good information on OpenAI you know destruction when the company was breaking up did actually talk about Eris they did actually talk about this Eris model so that means that this information about Eris is likely true okay and that also does give us some credence to the mod model called GOI, and GOI was actually apparently going to be a video 3 model. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Okay, so it says let's study the rumors to see what we can possibly wait for here or now. Open AI is in possession of a powerful model code named Eris. It is everything to everything all modalities to all modalities. Eris exceeds GPT-4 capabilities and performs very close to human experts in many different fields field's hallucination rates are much lower than different than GPT-4. Half of its training data was synthetic. We also did a video the other day on synthetic data. You should check that out. It says inference cost is around the same as GPT-4 because of the conditional MO multimodal weight of loading. And it's also a very, very good autonomous agent. And its release date is scheduled for 2024. So you can see here that we got so many different points with as to what this model is going to be. And this was something that many people didn't even see now, of course. This is, of course, something that is, you know, purely speculation. So we do have to take this with a grain of salt. But this information does pretty much line up to what we did just see. And everything to everything is something that is possible meta also did release a model like this where you can do everything to everything i think it was audio to text image to text like you can just you know transfer like in between it was pretty crazy but it's something that's still it's early phases 
But this is something that Meta did do also hallucination rates we know that they're you know working on something like that synthetic data, we do know that Microsoft was working on that, and an autonomous agent we did see earlier with that previous tweet, you know a 10,000x engineer researcher could definitely be in reference to an autonomous agent, and in the other video where we did talk about synthetic data and autonomous agents, we talk we showed you a video where Sam Allman was essentially talking about how autonomous agents are going to be the future, so definitely I'm not sure if I'll include a clip of that, but it is something that is there, so can it be possible? Or is it possible that this is what GPT 4.5 is going to be? I mean, I guess we're going to have to see. And I wouldn't be surprised if that that is going to be the case now. In addition to this, there was a clip of Sam Allman actually talking about the future models of track GPT. And essentially he was on the time interview and this was really cool because he was just talking about the past few weeks of open eye. And what he said in this was pretty shocking because he said, as we get closer and closer to super intelligence, everybody involved gets more and more stressed and more and more anxious. And we realize the stakes get higher and higher. And Jimmy Apples quotes this by saying, we are further ahead than you think this should be obvious by now. So the reason this is pretty crazy is because he's not talking about, are we going to get to AGI? Are we going to get, you know, a good level of AGI? They said that as we get closer and closer to super intelligence, everybody involved gets more and more stressed and more and more anxious. And this was in reference to open eye collapsing. So I guess what we have here is the fact that salmon could be and once again, let me warn you, this is pure speculation. We don't have any direct statements. The fact that he's saying that as we get closer to super intelligence, everybody gets more stressed and anxious. And we realize the stakes are higher. And he's talking about, you know, the last few weeks of Opini have been pretty crazy. And what did we know happened the last few weeks of open eye that were pretty crazy? There were many people saying that the discovery could essentially change the world. And there was this star model. And essentially now he's saying that, you know, as we get closer to super intelligence, things are getting more and more crazy. Does it not seem as if they already probably have AGI and an edging towards super intelligence, of course, once again, it's pure speculation. And the problem with AGI is that clear definitions of AGI, despite Google DeepMind's levels of AGI paper, are quite a struggle because some of the key AI researchers, including even some of the notable figures like Jeffrey Hinton and Yan, can't even agree on what AGI is or what an AGI system is going to be. The problem is, is that every year we move forward in AI development, and every year it seems like AI development is just being redefined with as to what AGI is going to be, because if GPT-4 was released maybe 10 years ago, some people would have declared it AGI, and now, people are saying this is not AGI, it's not smart, it doesn't know, so I think the problem is, is that we don't have a clear definition of AGI, but of course we will do a video on DeepMind's levels of AGI because it does give you insight into what AGI could be now. I will try and play a clip from the interview so you guys can see exactly what Sam Ullman says, but it definitely is shocking. Now to say something like Empathetica. I think everybody involved in this, as we get closer and closer to super intelligence, um, everybody involved gets more stressed and more anxious, and we realize the stakes are higher and higher, and I think that all exploded in addition if you think that GPT 4.5 isn't real, and you think that this is just pure speculation that is completely fair. But something that did kind of shock me was the fact that this internal message SL memo from Google reveals that Google acted on the information that Geep 245's release was coming today. Take a look at this. So you can see here that we have Gemini releasing Gemini Provision API and Gemini's API because you know that the GPT 4.5 release is apparently around the corner. So it says rumors circulating within the department has taken decisive action to address the potential impact of GPT 4.5. 4.5. In response to these speculations, a strategic decision had been made to expedite the expiration of the Gemini API effective as of today. This proactive measure aims to mitigate any unforeseen consequences and reinforce our position position in light of emerging advancements. 
This is an internal memo tweeted out by Flowers from the Future, essentially saying that, look, we know that GPT 4.5 could be just around the corner. And I think if that is going to be the case that is going to take away from Gemini Spotlight. So what do we need to do? We need to release this absolutely as soon as possible. And you can see right here, and you can see right here that Gemini was actually released. Look, take a look at this. So it says today developers can start building with our first version of Gemini Pro through Google AI Studio at AI Google. Google.day developers have a free quota and access to a full range of features, including function calling embeddings, semantic retrieval, custom knowledge grounding chat functionality, and more. It supports 38 languages across 180 countries, and Gemini Ultra is coming early next year. We're excited to see what you build, so this is why it's pretty shocking because people are now starting to build with Gemini Pro and their API. So, I mean, it seems like, you know, Google is rushing to get this out the door just in case OpenAI is about to release now. I don't know if Google has insider information, which is why they were like, look, we know that this model is coming out. We want to release this straight away. But we can see here that people have started build some things with Gemini now for a link to this tweet right here. This was by a Twitter user. I don't actually remember the username, but I will leave a link to it down in the description. But essentially remember how everyone was, you know, hating on Google for, you know, quote unquote, faking the demo. This essentially just shows that, um, this is how Google's API does work. And this is a Gradio Pro, so it's not as quick, because Gradio sometimes is quite slow when the a lot of users, but it just show goes to show how good Google Vision is with its API. So with all that information being said, what do you guys think about GPT 4.5? Do you think GPT 4.5 is released? Do you think in terms of they're just waiting to release it? Maybe in a couple of days, do you think that they're going to delay the release just so that these leakers are just proved wrong? Do you think they're going to release it later today? Do you think that it's even going to be like the screenshot what we have right here? Either way, I have no idea. I just wanted to show you guys this piece of information because I thought that when we look at everything together, it definitely be a more cohesive patcher rather than just looking at one initial screenshot. So with that being said, I'm still excited for GPT 4.5, and I do think that this ad race is heating up so much so that all of these models are being rushed out the door. And largely, I do think that we still need to just remember that AI safety is a top priority.